A quick glance at the education news in Ireland over the last 12 months will show that one story has been dominating and that's the story of the the controversy and the contestation around the changes proposed to the assessment system for uh, post-primary education. It's been a long and fraught story. We've had lunchtime protests, we've had pickets, we've had protest marches and we've even had a couple of one-day strikes. Thankfully, I think the end is in sight. There's, there's one more ballot left, but it does look like um, we're over the final hurdle. I'm sure at, at different stages in the course of the last few years, as these changes were planned, formulated and battled over, uh, lots of people involved in the process have been asking themselves, is it worth it? Is it worth uh, all the trouble we're going to, to to make these assessment changes? I think from my perspective, going back into the system now to implement these and uh, begin the process of supporting the passage of the policy into practice, um, these changes have been a long time in the making and a long time coming. I think for me the tipping point um, was, um, and, and I think the tipping point for political leaders, because I think if you're going to enter into that kind of a battle, you really want your political leaders with you. Um, I think the tipping point was a longitudinal study of the student experience of post-primary education and we learned many good things about students and their schooling and their enjoyment of schooling, uh, the positive relationships that they, they formed in school, the strong links between schools and communities. I think they were all positive things about the system. I think when we, when we drilled into student learning, I think the one piece of data um, that really sticks with me is um, students' attitude to what they saw as good learning and a good teacher. So at the beginning of post-primary education, students came into us at the age of 12 and they represented a good teacher as somebody who knew their subject area, had a sense of humour, could keep discipline in the classroom and, um, and, and, and generally they were, they were the, the three things you, you looked for, somebody that you could establish good relationships with. Um, and someone who could organise learning in an exciting and interesting way. I think that was how the, the, the students configured what they saw as a good teacher. By the time we had taken students right through our system to the very end, our 18-year-olds, many of whom were about to go into university, described a, a good teacher as someone who covered the course and prepared you for the examination. In fact, they described a teacher who went off script at any stage and departed from the set course or predicted examination questions as a distraction. And somebody, it was very frustrating, one student said, when a teacher taught something because they thought it was interesting and not because it was likely to come up in the examination. It is a wholly external assessment system in Ireland. Our examinations at, at the end of three years of post-primary school and at the end of the final two years are all externally assessed and for the most part are terminal written tests. I'm going to set aside the, the final high stakes examination that by which students transfer to university or further education and focus instead on the midterm exam, which is the one that is the focus of the reforms. It used to be a school leaving examination, now almost all our students stay on till the end. And what we have been proposing is changing the focus away from the terminal examination and into more school-based assessment, into different kinds of assessment events um, that could better represent student achievement, that would take the pressure off the terminal exam and perhaps preserve a different view of, a different view of learning. Teachers in Ireland have long contested any assessment change on the basis that they represent themselves as advocates for students against the system and against the examination system with the students um, and not as their judges. So again and again I've sat across the table and heard teachers say um, and with, with conviction that I am not a student's judge I am their advocate. That's a very powerful um, identity that teachers have in Ireland and one that it's been a long, um, as I said, a long and fraught battle to try and, to try and challenge that. I also think it comes from a very particular view of the assessment process, but I think the downside of it is that the kinds of conversations and the kinds of assessment conversations that teachers have with students are dominated by examination performance and examination results. 
And I think both the teacher and the student and the learning, I think all three lose because it means the focus is on what you need to do to improve your examination score rather than what you need to do to improve your work. We don't have conversations about the work. Uh, we don't have conversations about how the work itself, what constitutes good quality work. We only have conversations about what you need to do to score more marks. And that's not necessarily the same thing. I think a second downside is that those conversations um, tend to be one-sided because the teacher knows the marking scheme and the teacher is the gateway to that information. But that it doesn't transfer to the student. So the student's concept of quality work, their own motivation to achieve that quality, I don't think that's well developed in our system. And I think it makes it difficult for teachers and students to have conversations about, um, about quality, about performance and, and about improvement. Uh, that are not that are not focused on exams. So we're trying to change the assessment system, but I think we're trying to do it to change the quality of the conversations that happen around learning. And I think we're trying to build up in our students a vocabulary about quality, a vocabulary about progress um, that is theirs and not just the secret code of examinations that is held by teachers.